Hi there. If you haven't seen our video on statistics, then you may be wondering what this white lab coat is about. And we're just having some fun with the sales math series because we're not really getting the traction or the traffic there that uh, we were hoping for. And we think, you know, maybe sales math is scaring people away. So we decided to have some fun with it. And if you want to know more about the white lab coat, uh, go watch the sales math video on statistics, which is scary enough. And um, maybe you'll have share the, in the fun with us. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we're here to talk about becoming a commodity. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, we'll start with everybody's familiar, you know, sort of with the uh, standard distribution. And if you go out, you know, three sigmas, standard deviations, you've basically got all of your population, 99%. And, um, and Jeffrey Moore, in Crossing the Chasm, did some breakthrough or groundbreaking work in his um, writing that really captured the imagination of the folks in Silicon Valley back in the 80s. And kind of the usual description of these is, you know, bleeding edge or leading edge uh, out here in front. And then the next group is early adopters. And then you've got this big group in the center here, which is the majority. And they're both early and late majority. And then back here on the trailing edge, you have laggards or uh, late adopters, or some people call them slugs, you know, which kind of a judgment term. We don't really need to go there. Now, where Jeffrey Moore made his big mark was saying, you know, out here on the bleeding edge, uh, these folks are the, you know, the kids that grew up first on your block. You know, they always want to be trying new things, constantly pushing the envelope, that sort of thing. And the only question these people ask is, has anybody else done this? And if the answer is no, then they're in, like all in. Let's, these, these people, you know, skydiving and, you know, whatever, extreme sports and all that stuff. These people are all about it. They, no risk, no return high risk, high return, that's who these folks are. The early adopters are similar to these folks in that they ask, do you know anybody who's done this before and lived? And if the answer is yes, then they generally come along, you know, almost for free. And what you, this isn't drawn completely to scale, but there are a lot more of these folks than there are of these folks. And so when you get a few of these, then you're in a position to attract many, many more of these almost for free, okay? Jeffrey Moore's thing was, okay, these folks are a lot more like these folks than they are like these folks, okay? So early adopters and early majority, forget about these folks, for just the early majority, uh, are different, really different. And this is what Jeffrey Moore described as the chasm and his book crossing the chasm was how you survive this how do you get, how you get from here to here where there are really a lot more of these folks these folks ask do you know anybody who's done this before and lived great uh, we'd like 10 of their names we also need uh, documentation 24 by 7 support uh, globally and so on and so there's just a whole bunch more that comes with these people. And so these folks are much more like these, much more conservative, much higher uh, need for support than these folks, okay? Now, that's kind of the first part of this. The second thing is, if you look at margins or profitability, uh, it looks something like this, okay? Here in the early stages, where you're doing, you know, the missionary work and evangelizing, whatever your new approach is, whatever this brand new thing is, you know, you're 
trying to get some case studies, beta customers that are willing to be quoted and so on. Uh, and then you get a few of them and these people come, well, you start getting profitable. In fact, you start getting real profitable. And if you can survive this, you know, your profits start looking real good. Well, that does two things. It attracts these folks, but it also attracts competitors. And so two things start happening at the same time. One is competition coming in, which is putting pressure, downward pressure on your pricing. And at the same time, these folks are requiring all these other support, documentation, and um, you know, really staffing uh, costs and requirements, which is driving your costs up while pressure is being put on pricing to go down. And so margins start going like this. <laughs> the other thing that happens is when you start out, because you're brand new, nobody knows a lot about it. So you're doing a lot of education, a lot of proselytizing, and so on. But, you know, as it catches on, uh, you know, people become increasingly familiar. There's more written about it. People have more experience with it, and so on. I remember, you know, back in the 80s, when you'd go to buy a computer, you'd go to, like, Computerland, or I don't even remember the names of all these stores, but that was one of them. And... I remember the first time I went in and they had the computer and the mouse and the guys, you know, the, there were sales reps who would actually stand there with you and demo stuff. And then here, you try it and I'd take the mouse and it's like all over the place. Like, wow, what's going on here? I mean, now, you know, you, you don't even think about it. And you certainly aren't going into a store to buy it, except maybe Best Buy, you know, to just replace something. But what's happened over time is the knowledge and experience has grown in the marketplace, okay? So your knowledge, the market's knowledge and experience with your offer and your margins here, when this line crosses this line, that's when you have become a commodity. Okay, and what that means in terms of your channels, your your go to market, uh, your sales organization, the uh, sales support, all of that is so different here than it is here. If you're going to stay in business, you really need to understand what's going on here. In fact, I was presenting at a conference down in Fort Myers, and Jeffrey Moore was on ahead of me. And I was there to talk about sales mastery. And so after he presented and during the break, I went up and I said, hey, Jeffrey, I have one question. You know, the sales force, the sales organization here strikes me as being very different than the way you would organize here and the kinds of sellers and reps and everything you would have here. Uh, how do you address that? And his answer was, hey, man, I'm a marketing guy. So hey, I'm a sales guy, I'm interested in those questions. You're a salesperson, seller, I hope you're interested in it as well. Here's the thing to keep in mind as you move forward. Hope you enjoyed it, take care.